Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the love and support recently. It's been amazing and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. So, I came out the Fletcher's today. He's actually about to go edit a video, but I'm about to go do some frog fishing around some of the ponds out here. We're just going to be hunting today. Fletcher's actually been fishing all morning. I came a little bit late and um, he has not had a bite on a frog all day. He's thrown it a lot. They're in a lot of juicy spots, a lot of juicy little grassy areas, and he hasn't had any bites. So I'm interested to see if we can get him to come eat a frog today. I think we're gonna have to travel to a bunch of different ponds, kind of pond hop and throw that frog around to see if they're gonna come up for it. But I got a few juicy looking frogs with me today, and if we can get on the frog bite, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and hop into it. We got the golf carts over here, and um, I'll show you exactly what rod I'm using and the frog that I'm going to be throwing today. All right, so I ended up bringing two rods. And if you guys are wondering, you're probably like, whoa, what is on these rods? I got some live bait rigs up on these two poles right now. I actually filmed an episode a few days ago. That's going to be coming out on the next episode. So stay tuned, turn on them notifications, and you'll see a banging live bait video on the river. And it's crazy. We ended up catching, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to spoil it, but just wait it's a banger so this is the rod that i'm going to be using today i got a mock smash on a mock crush this is my braided combo we're going to be rigging up a frog on this rod and this one right here is just going to be a spare this is a fluorocarbon setup and um just in case they're not eating the frog and we have to switch up we can do so with this one so these are the two frogs that i brought out today as you guys know in the last frog episode we use the new vega frog by six cents if you guys want to get a discount i'll pop up my code on the screen but these are the two that i brought out today in the last one i used the pickle color and in this one we had a black and blue frog and then a standard white frog right here so there's a few rules when it comes to frog fishing that i would like to talk about real quick so it's not the sunniest day today there's a lot of clouds in the sky and in my rule of thumb this is what i do there's no rules to fishing but when it's cloudy outside i like to use more of a black frog when it's sunny outside i like to use more of a white frog so today with it being super cloudy there is a little bit of sun peeking through it's not like major overcast but um, I think I'm going to start off with the black frog. If we're not getting any bites on it, we're going to switch up to the white one. So we're just going to experiment, mess around a little bit. And um, like I said, I think it's going to take a lot of covering water and hitting new spots to really bang out this video today. But it's going to be good. So let's go ahead and tie this frog up and uh, get to fishing. All right, let's get this started. Let me tell you, I'm already sweating. It has been a hot summer, guys. Let me tell you, I do not remember these last few years being this hot. And it has been brutal, but we're going to get through it today. We're just going to try our best and uh, try not to kill ourselves in the sun today. <laughs> it has been brutal. I'm not going to lie. So let's cut off this freaking giant live bait rig. That's our first go. As you guys can tell, we have it on braid up here. And then we have 20 pound, or this is actually 50 pound fluorocarbon. We were fishing for some river monsters now. I'm telling you. We were really trying to catch some crazy, crazy fish. So like I said, stay tuned for that video. It's going to be good. We're just going to set that rig right there for right now. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to start off with the black frog. This one is actually black magic. Let's take it out of the package and get a little closer look at it. So it's got like a black top, black bottom, and it's got like those little blue markings on the side. It's pretty sick looking frog, not going to lie. But for the most part, that blue doesn't really matter, man. When it when it comes to topwater fishing as a whole, and, and more importantly, frog fishing, the only thing that really matters on the frog is the bottom of it because that's really all the fish is seeing. The fish is not seeing the top of it. The fish is not seeing the side of it. The fish is only seeing the bottom of the frog and then the skirts. So that's just something to keep in mind when frog fishing. You know, a lot of people are like, man, I, I don't have any like regular white frogs. Well, you know, a lot of your frogs are probably white on the bottom, and that's really all that matters. So, just something to think about. Just tied that on there with a the uni knot. Uh, as you can tell, the hooks are already positioned up, which I love on that. It's going to increase that hookup ratio. And uh, there we go. We don't have to trim the skirt. It's already perfect length, to be completely honest with you. And I think we are good to go on this frog. So, let's go ahead and walk down to this pond. All right. So, we actually got Fletcher over there in the distance. This is uh, all the juicy looking stuff that we're going to be fishing. You said he's thrown a ton of casts with the frog and hasn't had any bites over here except for one. It, it might happen, man. It might happen. What color frog were you throwing? That's I was throwing one. a white one. You're throwing um, a white one. That's okay. all I had as far as hollow bodies go. But I was tossing out across. I probably took a hundred 
to 150 casts across the <laughs> oh stuff. God. And got one bite. I swear to God, if you cast out there. Watch, it's gonna be like first cast. I'm gonna catch like God, a four pounder. So <laughs> Look at the dangler. <laughs> first cast, dangle five pounder. What would you do? I might just shoot in the water. <laughs> <laughs> take I don't know. It, it could be the color. I, I'm throwing a black frog. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. We're gonna cast all up in this stuff though. Another dangle action. Can't even get a regular cast. Oh no! He just took it under. He didn't have it all the way. That was our first bite today. That's a good little sign. Like I said, Fletcher didn't have any, so you had that one bite the whole time. We've been fishing out here for a decent bit. It's a good little sign. We're getting that frog a little bit slower than I'm liking to. I'm just walking it. I'm just working it a little bit slower. Man, I wish that fish had it. When I went to hook said the frog is way underwater, so he, he had the frog, but I just can't have it how he should have. That's a good little sign. There he is, right there. That's a dang good one. Oh yeah. He swallowed that frog, boys. He choked it. I'm gonna go down here. Look at that. Yes. Solid two number, man. Look at how he ate that frog. Oh yes. All right, took us a second, but we got us one right there. Almost a two pounder. The old black and blue Vega frog. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. I was starting to get a little worried, you know. Fletcher been out here, hasn't had any any bites on that. And we just got this one right here. And he ate it good. That's a beautiful bass. Awesome to start off the day with this one. Not a bad one by any means. Let's go ahead and check this guy, get him back in the water and uh try to catch another fish. Thank you, bud. Man, that was good. Didn't really want to throw that fish in the water either. It's just so grown up right here. Well, there we go, guys. First fish today. And uh, man, that feels good. It always feels so good to get the monkey off your back and get you a fish on the bank or on the boat or whatever it is. You know, that first fish always gets your confidence going. So I'm feeling good now. As long as I know that a couple will eat it today, I think we're going to catch them. We just got to keep moving, keep adjusting, keep trying new spots. Keep working our bait even in a different manner if they're not eating it the way that we're working it. And just really pay attention to what these fish are wanting because they're not really gonna kill the frog today. It doesn't look like that. So we gotta pay attention to the small details therefore so we can get those ones to bite. A little bit of cover on the bank, a little bit of grass where I just cast it over there on that side. That's one thing that I pay attention to. Right where I caught that fish, there was some cover, there was some laydowns in the water, and there was a mixture of grass. That's very important, paying attention to those little tiny small things because on any normal day that they're gonna munch a frog, you can really stick to that grass and catch them. But we haven't had really any bites just on that grass. We've had the bites where the cover and the grass, the vegetation meets, and it's a hybrid of. So that's something that we're gonna pay attention to today. All right, let's go ahead and head off to the second pond. See if our luck gets a little better. I will say, we caught one fish here. I'm satisfied with that. You know, we got the monkey off her back and it, it shows that fish are gonna be willing to at least eat a frog today. So let's go ahead and head out to the second one and see if we have a little bit better luck. All right, well, we made it to the second little spot. And let's pray that they gonna bite. 
We got one in the last palm, which I'm fine with. I'd like to get more than one in here if that's possible. <gasps> no! Don't leave me, don't leave me. He was right there in front of me. Dang it. He was literally right there. This water's super clear. I don't remember it being this clear. Has it always been, always been like this? That's a good little sign. We saw a fish, we spooked him though. gosh I didn't stick him I didn't stick him I don't know how I'm gonna get my bait back where I was just at right there he was on the other side of that tree though I was over three different trees and my frogs messed up oh no what wait this is just stupid Wow, that is so awesome, man. Ah, that would happen. Let's go ahead and just, man, that's so dumb. Is that the frog? I, I can't, I'm gonna have to tie on another one. We'll try to get that in a second, but that fish, oh man, that's so aggravating. Sometimes I love fishing guys, but sometimes it can, it can irritate me. <laughs> I'm not just saying that either. It can. It can make me a little angry sometimes. But I actually was going to switch up to this white frog just because that sun started coming out. So I was already about to transfer over to this one. I hope I can get that other frog back. But we had a good bite on that one. Exploded on it. That was just crazy. And one thing to note, the colors of frogs, usually it doesn't matter the color. And you'll, you'll get a good bit of bites either way. But where the color really comes into play is when the fish is hitting the bait and how he is eating it. So, you know, I might have, gotta love it, man. Then I'm not, look at that. It's so dumb, man. I just would love to go fishing one day. Just, just you know, just actually just fishing. You know, no, no stupid stuff. When a fish, say we have a black frog that's had eight bites and a white frog that's had eight bites. Where it's really gonna matter is how the fish are committing to the frog. So, you know, I might have just a, the same amount of bites on each color, but the white frog, they actually are choking it and they're eating the frog. And the black one, they're just slapping at it. You see what I'm saying? So that that is where the colors are really going to come into play. Yes, some days they're just going to magically start eating the white one better than the black, as in hits wise. But where the fish are going to commit on the frog, that's when the color is really going to matter. And I'm going to be honest, I've had a couple bites on that black one where they haven't committed. So what in the world? Oh my God, what? They're coming after dragonflies. What? Hold up, boys. This is serious. This is getting serious now. This is getting real serious. Those were bass right there coming after dragonflies. And I should catch this one right here. Watch this. Yep. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. First cast on the white frog, pretty much. Chokes it. Look at that. I don't know if that's a coincidence that they're eating dragonflies or if they want the white frog in the sunny day. Like I said, when I started, it was cloudy. I started using that black one. Now that the sun's out, we're going to transfer over to this white frog. And look at that right there. You were just coming out of the water after a dragonfly a minute ago, bud. I got you on the old froggy. I hear more bass doing it. Let's get back in there man you gotta love that guys Woo, that just gets me pumped up so much every single time i throw a frog what in the world is the weirdest bite ever yeah he didn't have it all the way i actually watched the frog go under the water that was really weird might have been a really small one. Oh my god he saw me or did he Oh my god. 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 Oh 
Why? He's still he's still looking at it. He's debating it. Got him. I didn't even see it happen. I just heard it. He choked it. I mean choked it. That's the best one today. Her best uh best bite today. Look at that. All the way in his throat. Third fish today. We walked up. We saw that bass on the bank. I was trying to toy with him to eat it, but he just he saw me. He was a smart fish. Look at that. Beautiful fish, not filled out. That's fish number three. See you, bud. Come on, fish. Keep her going. Dude! Yes! That was an awesome bite, man. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yes! Look at this. Okay. Well, that was a quick release. <laughs> oh, man. That was such a good bite. I count that as a catch, man. We had him up. I could have ran after him, but he just squirtled his way on in there. Well, dang, man, we are really getting it to work today. And uh, I'm glad, man. Started to worry me when Fletcher was saying, he's like, dude, I can't get a bite on him. I'm like, okay, that's not good, but we're making it work today. You know, we're covering water, we're adjusting. We adjusted to a white frog from a black frog, which I think was a great adjustment. You know, we're, we're really putting this frog where we need to put it, which is so important like that and they're freaking munching it not even the best conditions hot as can be today still catching them on a frog baby look at that nothing big that last one was a little bigger but that is another fish on a frog like i said it's all about putting that bait in the right spot and where these fish are right now is up in that grass up in that cover more importantly the hybrid between wood and grass like we talked about in the first pond i followed that little pattern that we caught that one fish on i brought it to this pond and it's working man that's why you got to pay attention to every little detail especially on tough days pretty fish I hate to toss them like that but we are a little high up in the air we smoking them in this place we should have a lot more fish you know we had a ton of bites and just a bunch of stupid stuff happened you know we should we should have probably caught about seven fish out of oh my god oh my god i was reeling it in and he ate it what is going on what it oh he's right there oh my gosh where'd he go He's still sitting there, man. He's eyeballing this frog. He's about to eat it. Uh-oh. I think there's one under me. yep oh that's a good one best fish today best fish today let's go look at him and i'm fighting he choked it too that is not the best fish today i lied he's got a huge head on him look at the head on this bass look how skinny he is oh my gosh look at that look at look at how thin that bass is but look at him eat that frog Man, this is so much fun. Oh gosh, I see him eating dragonflies again. We're gonna try to get in there real quick, but pretty fish. This could easily be a two pounder with how big his mouth is, but he is skinny. We have still not found these giant bass today, man. We're searching for these giants and uh, man, we just caught a bunch of small ones, but we're gonna keep on looking. All right. We gotta get over there. Fish eating dragonflies. Oh no. As it hit the water, he ate it. Dude, this is crazy we've got on the dragon dragonfly frog bite and it's pretty real man it's pretty crazy not gonna lie we're gonna get right back in there hopefully we'll get slammed right away 
So if you guys are wondering how I'm working this frog today, I usually just walk this thing side to side. But today with me making these super long casts, I was horrible. I hate when Barry does that. But with me making these super long casts, I'm not able to really walk this thing perfectly. Um, I'm just kind of hopping it through that grass. And any little spots that I see that are pretty clumpy, I'm making a lot of noise over. And what I mean by that is I'm popping it a lot over that thick, thick grass. And they're just coming up and they're eating it. And when I get on the edge to where I'm at open water, when I'm away from the grass and away from the cover, I've been walking that frog from side to side. It's just kind of hard with bank fish in this place and kind of being on a hill like this and working the frog. But look at that, there's another good fish. Look at that. They are smoking that frog. That just shows they came through the grass to eat that thing. Look at all that slop. Got a whole bucket of salad with this guy. Get that frog unhooked. These fish are just so skinny. I've never in my life seen, seen bass so skinny before, but they're hungry and they're trying to eat themselves some dragonflies and some frogs. Let's just start checking the fish's mouth to see if I can see if they have any dragonflies in there. Man, it's a lot of fun though. Like I said, we haven't found the big ones yet, but um, we're gonna keep on searching for those big ones. There we go. Yep. Dude, that's either a freaking huge one or it's got a bunch of grass. <laughs> I think I got a bunch of grass. I mean, I got a fish on. I know I do. He's buried in the slop. This is why you use a heavy rod and braid. Yeah, there's a fish on there. Look at that. Can't even see the bass. You can see his tail hanging out. What you doing in there, bud? <laughs> he hasn't got the fight yet. That actually might be one of the best today. Calm down, Jimmy. He has not, he didn't even get the fight. He just got strangled up in that grass and so now he's hyper. Look at that, that's a solid fish. Look, he's a little bit fatter than the other ones. And you notice every time, I wanted to talk about this because it's really weird. I don't know why, but every time I hook set these fish, this frog is in their mouth sideways and one of the hooks is in the top of the mouth. Can anyone explain that to me? Because that's, that's happened at least five times today. It's really weird, but beautiful fish. They are just munching this frog, man. You gotta love it. Give him a little toss. Thank you, bud. Very crazy dangler. Oh my gosh. They're, they're... Oh, he's in the tree. The bass is in the tree. The, the, the bass is literally in the tree. Look. Oh, he fell out. <laughs> no way. All right. Everybody that said in that last one, I didn't get that one bass 10 foot in the air. You guys can see that one on camera. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was letting that frog dangle and I had like two bass just jumping after it. Just schooling on it pretty much and just shot this fish right up in the tree. I'm so sorry, bud. I'm just glad you got out of that tree so I could get you back in the water. That is an awesome way to end off today's video. Hit that like button on that one. We're going to have some more frog content coming soon.